Dad, I'm filming. You're drunk. You going on yourself? All right, guys. Well, as you can hear, still we didn't do nothing with the carburetor, but um, I go through the electrical and it's tested like the PTO switch was no good. I changed it, and the deck starts working. I was using a little bit, and the amp here went nuts, like a big draw, and then the deck stopped, and. Um, switch. Act like it was dead. I tried another one, the same result, you know what happened? The PTO was bad. That's the ring that was stuck. Let me try That was the raise from the bear and it was stuck on the shaft for the drive. Oh, since we all have a ton of these machines we scrapped over here, craftsmen, I had the PTL, so let's go for a room burn. I did wind up buffing it, but it was so clean it didn't need a, a huge amount of buffing. So I don't know if you could hear me over the noise. I'm kind of hoarse today, worse than normal. So yeah, the PTO inner bearing race. So that's what happened. The guy thought the engine blew up, and I bet you the PTO seized at the time. He thought it blew up, parked it. Probably never brought it to anybody. And with me messing around yesterday and doing what I did, it wasn't the engine that was seized, it was the PTO. And I just, like, grunted the PTO moving. So, change the oil, put a battery. We don't have the right one, so for now, just did it like that. Air cleaner's coming, so it's just an empty box for now. So I'm trying not to, you know, run through dust. And uh, buffed it up. Took the headlights out and they were disgusting in there. Um, let's see. Dielectric the connectors because I was trying to find what happened. So I stole that PTO switch off that thing up there. 
I know I have more, but I don't know where the hell they are. But put a new piece of fuel line from the shot off up. And I don't know, we should take the body off and change it from the back, but for now, I figured you can use it. He changed the blades. The guy gave us like two sets of blades and one one that was on it was a little hacked. I don't think they're at a high, high lift. They they don't you know, they don't appear to be. It doesn't suck as good as like the John Deere, but it is cold today compared to yesterday, so might be some of that crap's frozen. But I'll go get my camera bag, I'm going inside. I haven't felt good in the last week or so. And tomorrow's my first day at work. So it's only part time, but let's see, I see he stuffed that PTO. There it is. That's the bad one. I ain't you know, I ain't gonna mess with it. Just take my word for it. <laughs> Alright gents, so not bad for 80 bucks. Uh, but like I was I've said it in previous videos. Sometimes you gotta gamble and you win. Other times you gamble and you're screwed. And this one was a good gamble. Like that John Deere back there, that engine I put in there for some reason. I wonder if the cam is starting to compression releases going flat because that sucker it starts up he readjusted valve starts up but it it uh it won't re uh, start hot you let it sit a little bit and it fires up in other words it it, it won't crank so it isn't magneto it's just the thing just don't crank over like the valves are too tight so we might have to piddle with that this guy. I was going to junk it, part it out, but it's got a good deck. Let's see. Yeah, I thought so. He mentioned it and I forgot. Yeah, we got that 12 and a half horse. And that 12 horse. Either one, that one would probably be better for it. Because it's a low end craftsman, so that flathead would do nicely. Alright, well, update from the barn.